buddy, Brian Bell here. Now remove the tires from both sides of the truck. Next, we'll lower the jack. Next thing you want to do, and this is very important, make sure you put seat clamps. They don't need to be huge seat clamps on these leaf springs to hold them together, but you just want to have something to keep them from coming apart. Next, we're going to use a 15 16 socket to remove the U-bolt nuts on the bottom of the axle. Make sure you have the jack underneath the axle and some tension on the rear axle so when we undo the leaf spring U-bolts, the axle doesn't fall away from the leaf springs. After we remove the nuts on the U-bolts, use the jack to lower the rear differential down so that there's a gap between the U-bolts and the top block on the axle. This will allow you to gain access to the center nut that we need to remove next down the center of the leaf springs. Loosen this 15 millimeter nut that holds the center of the leaf springs together. Remove the nut and let the bolt drop, not all the way out, but just to the top block of the uh, rear axle. From there, you can remove the U-bolts. and the U-bolt bracket. Then we're gonna lift that add leaf spring out. And we're gonna replace it with a spacer and put this all back together. We removed the overload spring on this F-350 because it had them. Not all F-350s have overload springs on them. But if you remove the overload spring, Roadmaster gives you a spacer bracket to make sure everything lines up and stays uh, aligned together. Put the spacer bracket on top of the leaf spring bracket and slide the center bolt back up to the top. Next, we'll add the U-bolt alignment spacer and we'll add the 15 millimeter nut back to the top of the unit. We're gonna raise the jack back up so we can come in contact with the leaf springs with the axle and then install our U-bolts. Use a torque wrench or a pneumatic ratchet to tighten the U-bolt nuts on the bottom plate. Now that everything's lined up properly again, and we have everything tight, we can remove the C-clamps from the leaf springs. Next, we'll take a half inch socket and remove the four bolts on the rear bump stop for the leaf springs. So the next thing we need to do is install our Roadmaster. You wanna slide it right in between the springs 